during our experiment, we don't have time to discuss the chemical principle of phenolphthalene. Phenolphthalene has two chromophores. Chromophore number one exists in acidic solution, and chromophore number two exists in basidic solution. Chromophore number one is colorless. Chromophore number one has three benzene rings. Each benzene ring has a pi electron system. The pi electron system is isolated by this sp3 carbon, so it does it does not emit any visible color that we can see. So that's why the chromophore number one exists in the acidic environment, colorless or don't have any color. The thing is, chromophore number one is the bronsted acid. Okay, the bronsted acid will react with the bronsted base. The base will react with one of these hydrogen. Assuming the base react with this hydrogen. When this hydrogen is taken by the base, the whole structure is under electron rearrangement. The arrows throughout the system showing that the electron flow for electron rearrangement. And if we redraw the structure after electron rearrangement, we have the chromophore number 2 of the phenolphthalein. The chromophore number two still have three benzene ring and still have the pi electron system. But the pi electron system of this benzene ring is connected by this sp2 carbon. This called conjugated system. The conjugated system will emit the specific color that we can see that which is a pink.